What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuild. Today we're back, you, you know where we're at. Well, we got the truck and we got the trailer and we're back at AR headquarters, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm short on content this week. So I'm having to make some good old fashioned normal videos, mainly because today is the uh, 31st of January, 2022. And I am leaving for New York uh, the day after tomorrow. Yeah, on the 2nd of January, or 2nd of February, 2022, I and Monkey Wrench Mike are embarking on a long, long journey. We are taking a 1,500-mile uh, flight to New York from Oklahoma City. And uh, from there, we're going to make an attempt to drive a sight unseen 50 year old Buick Century Regal that has been parked for at least 13 years all the way from New York 1550 miles home to Oklahoma and we're going to do it the best part I almost dropped the damn camera <laughs> the best part we're going to do it in a snowstorm we're talking, I think, 18 inches of snow and ice are predicted all the way from Oklahoma to New York. We're going to be driving back in that. And before everybody comes out saying, what a horrible person I am, well, uh, let me just be the first. What are you doing? What are you doing? If you think you're going to tangle with Roxy, I'm here to tell you, she will whoop you hard. Um, no, I am not having monkey wrench mike pay for anything he's taking the time out of his schedule time out of his life to come out here and help me it's all expenses paid to new york and back hotel accommodation room and board food flight airfare and i am a member a member of the admirals club so uh, he doesn't know that yet by the time this video comes out him and i will already have been able to experience the Admirals Club uh, at American Airlines. It's a kind of a nice little club where uh, you can go in there and get some gourmet food and drink and uh, you can have yourself a pretty good time. So this is a vlog is what this is. A lot of you are curious about these cars. Quick update. I guess we'll start with the obvious, the Mustang GT. Yep, we have a 2000 Mustang GT that is called a New Edge. Ooh, I hiccuped, excuse me. It's also called an SN95. I got a lot of comments from all the Mustang experts telling me this is not an SN95. This is a new edge Mustang. Well, you might want to check with Google. You may also want to check with uh, Wikipedia because, yep, yep, this is, although it's called a new edge, this is still an SN95 Mustang GT. She's got some problems. I'll give you a first look underneath Magnaflow. Nice looking drive shaft. We got a nice looking X pipe, although the pipes are hanging far too low. You got this little sucker right here. It's a uh, Pro Motion Performance Transmission. Huh, you don't say. Look at this, no leaks. No leaks anywhere. This sucker is dry as a bone underneath, guys. Take a look. Yep. Oh. Uh-oh. Wow. Yeah, um, I'm going to guess this is why we don't have a clutch anymore. And that's all I'm going to tell you about that. You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't fired up this old beast right here. Let's do that real quick. Then we'll go check on the cars sitting in the front yard. But first, a shout out to... I don't want to say sponsor. This video is not sponsored, but this company just in time for this severe winter weather that we're having here. And it's scary because I'm not going to be here. This sucks. I am not going to be here when this horrible weather comes into Oklahoma. And it's very concerning because we have an all electric house. If power goes out, Jessica and Nick are going to be in big, big trouble. So this little sucker right here is an Okmo or Okmo. This is a 1000 watt power station. And I've seen some reviews on it online, and most of them are good. A couple of them were not. I have personally used this a couple of times just to test out, but not with anything super powerful that would draw even a 1,000 watts. Down here is a charging unit for it, so to speak. It's a, it's a, can I even get it out? 
I thought this was kind of cool. It's kind of a self-contained, check this out. Sit it up here, open this up, and you've got a, I believe this is a 100 watt solar panel. You can hook two of these up because if you try to charge that, ba that battery bank off of this, it takes like 11 hours. You can plug two of them in, cut that time down in half. Now, let's take a look at this. Please do not place product in high temperature. Yeah, 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 okay. So we got cooling fans. Cooling fans, no, no cooling fans on that side. This thing isn't too heavy. You've got your inputs in here for uh, the solar panels, DC in for wall charging, power it up. One of the things I really don't like is this screen here. It doesn't really say anything, it shows you battery. Hold this and turn your AC units on. This is linear AC power out. Three of these right here. You've got a thousand watts total, guys. So uh, remember that, not a thousand watts per, a thousand total. Car cigarette lighter adapter, PD 60 watt. There we go, that's on. You got your USB 3.0 right here and you got your other USB A inputs right or outputs right there, inputs, whatever. It outputs electricity is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to make this quick. Anyway, this is a cool unit, guys. This is good to have and I'm gonna take this home with me so that Jessica and Nick have at least a little bit of portable power so they will maintain cell service and everything. And uh, I've got an electric heater at the house. It's a 1500 watt, which exceeds the capacity of this, but you can turn it down and it'll be well within the thousand watts. So at least they can keep warm. I'm taking this back now. So if you're interested in this, Google it, Okmo, O-K-M-O. -O. And on the bottom here, we'll turn this off. I'll show you the, uh, there we go. The information right here, this is a G1000. I'll have a link to it in the description. 1100 kilowatt hours. 1,000 watt with a peak of 2,000 watts. There it is, guys. Go check this out if you're interested. They have bigger ones. If you want something bigger, I think they got a 2,000 watt. They got some bigger ones. I'll put a link to some of these down below. If you're interested in them, go check them out. It's important to note, they do not come with the, uh, <laughs> they don't come with this, okay, the solar panel. That's separate, but it charges relatively quickly from the power adapter. It didn't take, well, I don't know, probably, <laughs> probably took eight hours or so, but for what it is, it's a good deal, guys, I think anyway. It's probably one of the cheaper units that are capable of this kind of power output uh, that you're gonna find. So, you know, take it, try it out. If it doesn't work for you, you can always send it back. It's Amazon after all. And there is an affiliate link, so obviously I get a small percentage of the sale price, but it doesn't cost you a dollar more or a dollar less to buy this using my link. Go check it out, guys. Now let's go check out some cars. All right, I promised we were gonna start this up, man. <laughs> <laughs> this sucker, this is an expensive bike, guys. It, it really is. And I, I really, I don't need it, but I can't convince myself to sell it. I, I, I've tried. I can't do it. I, 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 I love this bike. I can't bring myself to get rid of it. And it's just sitting here. Absolutely just sitting here doing nothing. We say we fire it up real quick, see how she runs. She's been sitting for quite a while. like it was yesterday. Oh, 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 yeah. God, you are sexy. How many miles we got on her? We got 323 miles on this 2021 Road King. God, I want to ride, man. I want to ride. Uh, all right, let's shut her down. Yeah. Gosh, she's such a big, heavy bike, man. I love her. I do. I absolutely love this bike. Normally, I get on from the other side, but, you know, I guess it doesn't matter. You can get on whatever side you want to. Now that we're done with that, Sugar, you want to go inside? You want to go inside? See Casper? Casper? Yeah, we'll go see Casper. I, no matter how much things change in my life, I still, I still, I think feel most comfortable. Come on, let's go see the ghost. I think I still feel most comfortable in, in an old house like this. I, it's gotta sound crazy. I know, it's gotta sound absolutely crazy. Like I have a brand new house, brand new house. But yet every time I come back here, it just, you, listen to this. 
You see this stuff shake? Yo, wobbly floors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wobbly floors and old walls and it's tiny too. You know, it didn't seem so tiny, but now that I got this new house, it definitely seems, uh, this definitely seems a little small. Got the temperature set at, keep it at 65. I got all this trash. This is interesting. This door was left open. Okay. <laughs> Casper, I'm telling you, nobody will believe me. That's fine. I don't want to believe myself either, but, uh, did Roxy do this? She almost had to. Have. Well, I hope that was Roxy. Was this Roxy? Or was this you? Was this Casper? I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> Woo. Let me tell you guys something. I saw something, and uh, this is a while back, I don't know, a few months ago. We haven't had any paranormal activity in this house at all in a long time. Jessica and I were getting ready to leave late one night. And I came from somewhere in here. I walked over here to shut this light off. See how it's on? I walked over here and I went to shut this light off. And lo and behold, right here in this corner, right here, standing right here was a shadow figure. It had to be eight feet tall. It was all the way to the ceiling. It was looking this way at me. No eyes, no ears, no face. No clothes, it was just a black shadow figure, slender, I mean, slender, but very tall and looking down from up there. It had arms, it had legs, and I'm telling you, I came around this court, just look, look imagine this. Do, 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 go to, ah! Yeah, that, <laughs> that's what it was. I, I come around the corner and I'm getting ready to shut this light off and I see it standing right there looking right at, and it froze me. It froze me solid, like stiff as a board. It froze me. I, I regained my motor skills and <laughs> shut the light off. I yelled at Jessica, I said, we got to go. We got to go. And we got the hell out of this house. <laughs> that, was a, that was a terrifying experience. I've had several terrifying experiences in this house. And I'm going to leave you in here. You take care of Casper. I'll be right back. I know that's wrong. That's wrong. The dog generally doesn't care for this house. You know another thing I love about this property? Look out there. You see that sunset? There's just something about this place. There really is. It's just a small, a small little country town. Uh, I don't think there's 200 people that live in this town. I really don't. But just something about this little house... And that big tree, those beautiful sunsets, beautiful sunrise, and just, I don't know, call me crazy, but uh, this feels more homey than my brand new house. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I love my brand new house. I really do. I love that house. It's beautiful. It's comfortable. It's really nice. And it's also out in the middle of nowhere, so it still feels kind of country, you know? But, uh, man, it ain't this. All right, let's turn that off fired right up you guys been wondering what's going on with the diamante well why don't we take her for a why don't we take her for a quick run see how she does does that window work damn it sure does i'm, I'm not sure i ever tried that window oh man that's right no power steering oh and no brakes yep whoa oh yeah those brakes are those brakes are bad well so i contacted the person that i wanted to see get this car all right i had somebody in mind i'm gonna put it in neutral those brakes are so bad it concerns me that it's gonna run me out into traffic and i got a semi coming over there um i contacted the person we spoke we messaged back and forth a little bit and i haven't heard from him since he's a, a gentleman that's got he's got money he's not looking for a daily driver this car is not that this car is junk guys i want to be very clear this car is junk this is a content car All right, this is a car that you buy solely to either get content out of, to beat the hell out of and junk, or to fix up if you can afford to put that kind of money into something that's absolutely not worth it. That's all this car is. 
shifted good. Shifted okay there, not great, but it did, it did all right. All right, let's turn her around. This is not a car for those people that are like, oh, you know, I'm, I've got health issues, my kids are sick, I, I, this would be a blessing to get us to the doctor. No, it wouldn't. This would be a liability to you, it would be a headache, it would cause you more problems than it could ever bring you good. I promise you that. I, I really, I'm not trying to offend anyone. Uh, it's not my intention, but it's important to understand that if you're having trouble financially where you're able to afford a car or fix your current car, then this is definitely not the car for you. It needs so much work, so much work. This car belongs in the hands of somebody that's got some, some money in the bank, that's just fixing it to fix on it for no other reason. All right, this, this car is not for those people that are, uh, that are ill or got got sick kids or something like that is not dependable not dependable at all would it make it all the way to kansas or texas or arkansas i have no idea <laughs> don't don't get me lying don't get me lying maybe maybe it would i put those tires on it man and, and she's a lot better now but these brakes are absolutely shot this car, ooh, you gotta hope and pray you freaking stop because <laughs> she kinda wants to just do her own thing without power steering. It's kinda horrible trying to drive this thing. All right, let's put her back where we got her, guys. <laughs> let's check out the Audi now. Let's see how the Audi's doing over here. Oh, don't hit the, don't hit the trailer. Okay, this car doesn't need another ding in the front end. Hey, you know what though? She runs, she runs well, she drives. It's got working heat. What more do you want from an old beater, man? It's a $400 car. <laughs> what, what do you want from her? So if I don't hear from that gentleman um, in the relatively near future, uh, I'm gonna have to find somebody else that's interested. And again, I'm telling you, this car most likely will not make it under its own power wherever you're going, even if it's down the street. Probably won't. It needs a ton of work. It's junk. It's broken. But if you're interested in it, if you're interested in it, and it's not for sick kids to get to the doctor, it's not for getting you from work and home, if it's not a car you're going to rely on, definitely hit me up, Auto Auction Rebuilds at gmail.com. Auto Auction Rebuilds at gmail.com. I'll have the link down below. Now, Let's check out, what should we call this one? I don't know, it's an Audi. Let's just check out the Audi. This is a 1998 Audi A6 Avant Quattro, meaning it is a station wagon. I'm not quite sure what to do with this one. It runs great, it drives great, cold air, hot heat. It's a pretty clean car and it's a beautiful color. It's got a few whoop de doos here and there. Aside from that though, it's a nice car. It's got Michelin tires all the way around. It really is a beautiful old car, and I really, really like this one. I have not gotten it down to the exhaust shop yet. I still, I still need to do that. I do. It's got a 2.8 liter. It is Quattro, so all-wheel drive. It's been recently detailed, so it should look pretty good on the inside. Oops, I hit the camera and the outside. Take a look at that. She really is a good-looking car, guys. Memory seats, power windows, power seat. Yeah, you know, all the basic stuff that was, <laughs> was in an Audi in 1998. Very nice looking back here as well. Beautiful headliner. Really is a gorgeous car. The only thing I have left to do this, and it's ridiculous that I've been procrastinating, is getting the exhaust fixed. That's it. This car is ready to go, guys. She's, she's done with the exception of getting the exhaust fix. It's not gonna cost a lot of money. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to get it done. I've just been lazy. That's, yeah, that's it. I've just been lazy. We'll fire it up and we take this one for a quick ride. You can see what I'm talking about. Oh no, no. Ah, oh. dude, that sucks. That really sucks. Oh. <sighs> I'm running short on time and even shorter on daylight, guys, but 
I guess it wouldn't hurt to, oh, the hood, hood strut is bad on this too. Yeah. The battery lives under here, which Austin Carr was nice enough to give us. Uh, well, not give us, but he was nice enough to bring it to us and sell it to us. So thank you, Austin Carr, for that. Um, let me go grab a jump pack. Let's see if we can get this thing fired up. Now, this is something you guys haven't seen in a while. The JNC 1224. I've had this for four to five years. <laughs> I've had this a long time. She shows she's still got voltage, too. It is a ridiculous booster pack that was given to me by my first sponsor ever jump and carry yep jumpstarter.com in fact i have a link to this and probably a couple of the most more popular items that they sell of these this variety um, because this is a little bigger than most people's gonna need 12 volts 24 volts yes it will jump start semi trucks dump trucks all kinds of stuff all the all the big big stuff this will do it and we haven't used this in probably well over a year. So I can't guarantee that this still works, especially considering how old it is, guys. Like, we really have. We've had that thing four to five years. And it was my very first channel sponsor. Let's find out. I have a... I really... It's been a good booster pack. But the fact that it has been sitting so long just... I, I Well... Oops, that was my fault. I'll be damned. Wow. 120,000 miles on the odometer. Wow. Power windows work. Air conditioning works. Look at that. Again, tell me that is not absolutely beautiful. Ugh. All right, let's do it to it. It's a little loud in here. Please forgive me. We'll take this one the other direction. Oh, it's out of gas. Oh, yeah, she's she's like real out of gas. <laughs> like, not just playing like she's out of gas. She's really out of gas. All right, let's see if we can do this. I decided we're gonna do this a little different. We're gonna go this way. Uh, uh, there's a lot of traffic out there. I'm not trying to back up through all that traffic. So we'll just drive through the, uh, through the yard here. All right, there we go. There we go. Makes it a little bit easier. Lee, that thing is obnoxious. Wow. All right. Here we go. One more car. One straggler and we can get on out of here. All right, here we go. Come on, go, 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 shawty. I really do. I really, like, I really do. I think that maybe 
part of the reason I haven't gone through with fixing it is because I love the little car so damn much and I know me as soon as it's fixed I will go get rid of it as soon as I have that exhaust done which is the only thing left the only thing left Once that exhaust is finished, I'll end up getting rid of this car and I don't want to get rid of it. It is such a nice, relatively low miles car with a new timing belt. It has been serviced by the dealer religiously. The Carfax on this, you wouldn't believe it unless you saw it. In fact, I'll give you the opportunity to run a Carfax on it yourself if you don't believe me. There's a the VIN number. Okay, you got it? Feel free to go ahead and run that VIN number yourself and look at the Carfax. I'm talking suspension control. Everything has been done to this car at the dealership. She has been very well taken care of. How it ended up the way it did, I don't know. But here it is, there it was, there they are. Yeah, I hate to get rid of it. In fact, this would be the perfect car to get Jessica and Nick through this nasty winter storm we're about to have. The Tesla is all wheel drive. The problem with the Tesla is it has summer tires, ultra high performance summer Pirelli tires. They're not gonna do well in the winter time. Uh, they're not, they're gonna do very poorly. This car right here would be the perfect all wheel drive car for, uh, for what she's about to be going through. Let's shut it off, see if she wants to restart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I imagine the check engine light is on because there's no catalytic converters. That, that would be my guess. That would be my guess. As you can see, guys, she fires up. She runs great. Well, I'm about to get out of here. Short video. I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed it anyway, but I got a million things to get done before Monkey Wrench Mike and I take this flight. One of the other things I want to do real quick is shout out. Whew, that jumping carry is heavy. <laughs> I'm not in good shape, man. <laughs> I got to give a big shout out to a couple people. Number one, Lunar Outlaws Garage. Guys, I'm going to have a lot of links for you down below. I highly recommend you go check them out. Just take a peek. Lunar Outlaws Garage made this whole trip possible. Without him, I couldn't have got that car. No content would have come out of it. We did good. Not only am I getting content out of this 73 Buick Century Regal, Lunar Outlaw did two videos so far. He may have more, I don't know. But he got some great content. He gained some subscribers and he did a bang up job. I mean, those videos are lit. Guys, if you haven't gone and seen his videos on that 73 Buick, go check them out now. In fact, I'm gonna put a link down below, not just to Lunar Outlaw, so you can subscribe to his channel, but to the two videos he currently has out as well. I highly recommend you go check him out. Lunar Outlaw, thank you so much for everything you did. He worked on this car in like negative temperatures outside in the snow, all right? Without him, this whole thing wouldn't be possible. Next, Monkey Wrench Mike, link to his channel down below too. Monkey Wrench Mike, while the trip is possible to do without him, it just wouldn't be as fun, man. So Mike, thank you so much for dropping everything and jumping on a plane with me and traveling back to Oklahoma in a 50 year old Buick that's been parked for at least 13 years in the middle of a horrible snow and ice storm spanning from New York all the way back to Oklahoma. You know, saying that out loud sounds like that's not a very good idea. Uh, I, anyway, um, it should be an epic road trip coming back. So stay tuned for that video. It will be, it's gonna be a wild ride. A 50 year old car making a 1500 plus mile journey in a snowstorm uh, that's been parked for at least 13 years. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but it's what we're doing. So stay tuned for that. So again, Lunar Outlaws Garage, Monkey Wrench Mike, thank you so much for this. And if you guys enjoy that type of content, sight unseen cars, risking money, risking life and limb to see if you can drive them from one side of the country back to the middle of the United States, whew, hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below and tell me that you want to see more of that and if you do i'll start implementing that into the channel i feel like that's a horrible idea I, I really do it's super dangerous it's sketchy it's risky it doesn't seem like a very smart thing to do but if it's entertaining i will add more of these 
to the content this year. A lot of, uh, a lot of big things coming this year. I can't talk about them yet, but stay tuned. There's a, there's a lot going on at Auto Auction Rebuilds this year. We're going to have a lot of fun in 2022. Stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, could you subscribe to my channel? Maybe, like if you haven't already, I'd just click, click, click the little subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button and stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.